All right, Shalom, it's the brother from GMS, I'm flying here back for another video. Before we go any further, we all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Makar Kodash, Devons, the Apostles, and others, that bring most storm for teaching us warm sent truth, according to the Bible rule well, in peace and blessings, though full of the nation of Israel, today through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, we get into the Lord's uh, willing, uh, 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 edifying lesson, on how the a day of reckoning is coming. You see a day where uh, your actions, you know, the things that you've been doing down here on this earth are going to be a uh, way in the balance. You see, uh, 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 you see what happened down in Texas. That was just a small glimpse of what Yahweh Shema Shai is going to bring, you know, to this world, you see. In that time, you know, uh, they were catching hell. Well, more evils are going to be done upon the earth because we are living in the time of judgment. You see, when Yahweh Shema Shai, to the world only calls God and Jesus Christ, will, will bring judgment to this world. You see, to this wicked, sinful kingdom called Babylon the Great. This is, um, this is the second Ezra chapter 8. Verse 50, it says, For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world. So many great mis miseries. You see, in uh, those people sitting in with their power out, you know, for two days, no heat, no water, people get into uh, uh, severe accidents. Well, that was just a glimpse of what Yahweh Shema Shah is about to bring, you know, more miseries are going to come upon the whole world. You see, that was uh, really nothing, you see? Because why? They got the power back on. They're, uh, they're eating again. You know, they're uh, drinking. They're being merry. You know, they have totally forgot, you know, uh, the hell they're, they're going through. They didn't learn anything, you see? This is uh, Sirach 11 and 25 in the Day of Prosperity. They're is a forgetfulness of affliction. You know, that's what our people do, you know, uh, when the Lord, when Yahweh Shema Shai, when he chastened them, you see, they, uh, 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 they, they forget, you see? They go on about doing their wickedness. They don't uh, take heed. They don't consider, oh, why is this going on in the world? Why is that? You see? They just continue on in their wickedness. Let me see if I can find this. I thought it was Isaiah, the second chapter. Um, just bear with me, brothers. I'm going to read this again. This is uh, Sirach 11 and 25. In the day of prosperity, there is a forgetfulness of affliction. So when you're doing good, you're uh, prospering. You see, uh, now, now they have the power back on. You see, they might have, uh, you know, gone out, got some fresh air. You know, now they're watching their favorite uh, TV shows on Netflix again. You know, just going back to the folly that Babylon the Great has to offer. Well, it says there's a forgetfulness of affliction. Real quick, this is Sirach. Jeremiah 2 and 30. In vain have I smitten your children. They received no correction. So, in Yahweh by Shema Shai, uh, has smitten you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, by you know, by many uh, 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 things upon the earth, and you receive no correction. So, what now the Lord ultimately is going to bring an ultimate the uh, uh, a judgment to where He's just going to put you down, you see, real quick. This Isaiah 1. In five, why should you be stricken any more? Ye will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick, and the whole heart faint. So Yahweh Shema Shai, he sees that you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, when he puts you through things, you know, when he weighs your actions in the balance, and he judges you for your wickedness, well, you're not considering, you know, you're not sitting back, oh, why am I going through this? So the Lord's just going to bring evils upon you. He's just going to destroy you. You see? 
This is uh, Sirach 11 and 25, and it reads, In the day of affliction, there is no remembrance of prosperity. You see, and that's what the Lord is about to bring. The Lord is about to bring, uh, and, and is bringing, you know, affliction. You see, where those prosperity moments, those things that you uh, held dear to you, well, those things aren't going to come to mind. You know, the Lord, is, he's going to take away your joy and your mirth even more. You see, more evils, many more uh, miseries are going to come upon Babylon the Great. <coughs> You know, at least you're uh, 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 in upon the wicked of those of Babylon. You see, in upon the world. This is uh, Second Ezra chapter eight verse fifty. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall shall dwell in the world. That in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. You see, and that's the that's the problem. For a majority of so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you are walking in great pride. You see, and the pride is the beginning of sin. You know, and uh, he, he that has pride will pour out abominations. You see, pride was not made for man. You know, pride is when one departed from his maker. So, Yahweh Shema Shah is not dealing with those uh, with pride. You see, so what? He's going to bring judgment upon you. Was a uh, Proverbs sixteen eighteen pride go before destruction, in a haughty spirit before a fall. This is a uh, Galatians chapter six verse seven. Be not deceived, the Most High is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So if you're sowing wickedness in the world, you know evil, sin upon sin, you know committing iniquity, committing adultery, smoking weed, smoking cigarettes, eating all types of abominable foods. Well, you're going to receive the judgment for that. You see? This is um <clears throat> this is Job chapter 34, verse 33. Should it be according to thy mind? Yes, yeah, should it be according to your mind whether or not Yahweh by Shema uh judges you, whether or not uh he brings evil, you know, bad times upon this world, you see? It says, should it be according to thy mind, he will recompense whether thou refuse or whether thou choose, and not I, therefore speak what thou knowest. See, Yahweh Shema Shari, you know, he's going to judge you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You see, that's why we tell you to repent, to turn back, because the day of judgment is coming, you see, a day uh, uh, where you're going to have to pay for your sins. Real quick, Romans 6 and 23, for the wages of sin is death. So you committing iniquity, you know, you know, uh, this is why you're going through these things. This is why Yahweh Shema Shai is bringing judgment upon you because of your pride, <clears throat> before because of your trespass, you know, in his commandments, you see, and that's going to lead to your death. It says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of the Most High is eternal life. Through Yahweh Shai Mashiach, our Lord. <clears throat> but that gift, that belief, you know, us being saved by faith, you know, is a gift from the Most High. You know, so if you have this knowledge, if you believe, we got to hold on to what we have, you see? And uh, continue to stay diligent and rooted in the fear of the Lord. This is uh, Hebrews 10 and 30. For we know him that has said, Vengeance belongeth unto me. I will recompense. Yeah, so vengeance belongeth to uh, the Heavenly Father. He's going to recompense you uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You see? And how is he going to do that? What what judgment is he going to bring? Let's keep reading. It says, I will recompense saith the Lord. And again, the Lord shall judge his people it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. So the Lord is going to bring evils, you know, upon the land, you know, upon Babylon the Great across the four corners of the earth. And he's ultimately going to destroy uh, Babylon the Great with these 200 million ICBM nuclear missiles. This is Jeremiah chapter 30, 
Verse 4, and these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and, con and concerning Ju Judah. For thus saith the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. So peace is the last thing that's coming to the wicked of our people. Judgment is going to come, you see? And it reads... As she now and see whether a man do travail with child. Now we know a man does not have a child. You know, that's the job of a woman. Let's keep reading. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail? So he, Jeremiah is seeing the vision of how men are in pain. You see, they're going, they're catching hell. You see, in all of them catching hell, you know, you can uh, best believe that uh, uh, that they they are not thinking about the happy old times, you know, them getting uh, drunk at the bar. No, those things are going to be uh, totally uh, wiped out of their minds. You see, they're going to be uh, engulfed in, in, the, uh, uh, in the, uh, 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 that torment that Yahweh Shema Shah is going to bring upon them. It says... As a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness, at last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. So, uh, you had uh these ice age, you know, the whole ice age with uh not ice age, but you better know with the uh Texas, you know, the uh, the, the you know power going out, no water. Well, there's a day coming that's gonna be worse than that. You see, let's read that again. Jeremiah 30 and 7, at last for that day is great. What day? So that none is like it, it is even the time of Jacob's trouble. And Jacob representation of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. So there's a time of trouble that's coming upon the whole world. You see, and we are entering into those times. But really, things are going to get even worse. We are not really there yet, you see. We're at the beginning stages of it, you see. But there's going to be a time of trouble such as never been seen upon the earth. So that's how bad things are going to get. You know, things are going to get worse. Things are going to continue to get bad. And it reads, At last for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. So the Lord is going to bring judgment upon Jacob, his chosen people. You know, but out of that uh, chosen people, there is a, 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 a children of disobedience. You see, uh, 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 you know, uh, the spot is not the spot of my children. Yeah, I forgot how the saying goes, uh, scripture is, uh, his spot is not the spot, you know. But, you know, Lord's one, you know, basically Jake, all Israel is not of Israel. You see? Okay, uh, yep, I'm, I'm actually right here. This is uh, Deuteronomy 30 and f 32 and 5. They have corrupted themselves. Their, sp their spot is not the spot of his children. They are perverse and crooked generation, you see? So y'all by Shemar Shai, look, Jake is not, it, that's not, uh, the, the, the uh, Israel, the you know, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are not acting as the chosen seed of the Lord. So the Lord is going to uh, take them out. This is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hands. Talking about uh, the Heavenly Father. You see. No one's going to be able to deliver you out of the hands. Of the Lord. For I lift up my hand to heaven and say I live forever. If I wet my glittering sword. And my hand. Take hold on judgment. I will render vengeance to my enemies and will, will reward them that hate me. So the Lord is going to, oh, that glittering sword is talking about those ICBM nuclear missiles, which is going to engulf 
America. You see, uh, if I wet my glittering swords and my hand take on take hold on judgment, so the Lord is going to pour out the weapons of His indignation upon the wicked of His people. You see, this is going to be awesome with the cherry on top after uh, the civil unrest, after the famines. You see, after the uh, 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 the uh, you know the cannibalism that's going to be going on Babylon, Babylon, Babylon the Great. You know, uh, women being uh, ravished, you see, uh, pillaging, you know, uh, people uh, betraying one another, you know, all hell totally uh, breaking loose, you see. I will render vengeance to my enemies and I will reward them that hate me. And how is the Lord going to reward you? He's going to reward you with death, you see, by taking you out. By putting you down, you see, all because you uh, you proved the Lord that you hated Him how through your actions, you see, but repent, you know, we read in Jeremiah thirty seven that He shall be saved out of it, that He that's going to be saved out of it is ultimately what the elect, you see, those that have repented, those that have turned back to the Lord. We'll close out on that, you see. This is um This is Zephaniah chapter two verse one. Gather yourselves together, yea, gather together, O nation not desired. You know, what are we gathering ourselves together uh to do? To hear the word of the Lord and to be a doer of the word and not hear only. Before the decree bring forth, before the day pass. As a shaft, you see, ultimately before the Lord puts, uh, you know, causes his word to come and destroy Babylon the Great. You see, before all hell breaks loose, before, you know, uh, things hit the fan. Let's read. Before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. Oh, what's well, like it says, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. Before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. So before these things, before judgment comes, before all hell breaks loose, before the day of reckoning, seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth. So seek Yah by Shema and Shai. That's, that's ultimately what you got to do. You got to seek your power. You know, how do you do that? By the men, starting with our apostles and elders, a great millstone that he set up out there. On the highways and byways to teach you this word. You see, to show you the uh, the way of righteousness. To teach you about uh, Yahweh by Shema Shai. Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth. And what makes you meek? By you uh, confessing your sins. By you humbling yourself in the sight of Yahweh by Shema Shai. You see? Uh, realizing that uh, your way was not the right way. It says... Seek righteousness, seek meekness, it may be, yet ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. You see, so the Lord's coming back angry, regardless, he's coming back, you know, with a hit list to bring judgment upon the people, to bring holy hell upon Babylon the Great, you see. But what? There's a chance for you to turn, for, for you to avoid those things, to be hid during those times, and that's what we do. These scriptures, these lessons, uh, these uh, epistles, scriptures talk about through the terror of the Lord, uh, we persuade men. But Lord's will and the system of the defying, I'm going to say, Shalom.